Welcome back everyone to a new episode from Ampro Engineering. This is a battery holder. And the reason why I have this battery holder is completely my fault. Let's show you why. This Axial SCX-102 was perfectly acceptable until I got my hands on it. And what I have done was did an interior kit on it. I added a servo winch adapter bracket to the front of this, put the blower motor on it, and all of these things added up to the fact that I no longer had a place to put something as trivial as the battery. So I had to make this. Let's see why. So at this point here, I will pull the body completely off. And on the SCX-102, you will have to undo the hinge at the rear. And uh, for me, it's a lot more work because of what I've done to the front of the truck. And up and over. Perfect. Because on this truck, all of this area has been occupied, I had to figure out a new place to put the battery. If you did not have the interior and maybe you just bought my servo winch mount here at the front, then you could still put a standard shorty pack in this area right here, but I've got the interior, so that makes it a little null and void. So I will remove the interior, which just pulls straight out, assuming it's not plugged in, which it is. And I've already got the rear suspension taken apart, but basically we have to take off these shock mounts. And this theoretically, assuming I measure everything correctly, should drop straight in here and give you a place to put your battery. Continue to back. Okay, you have to remove the rear mount as well and do the other side. This bracket will then be removed and the new one will slide in. Before we do that, we have to prepare it. This is the lid that retains the battery in there, so we had to remove it. And it's attached via a little peg right there. Now on Shapeways, this has been printed in, I think it's called the Fusion from Hewlett Packard. Uh, nylon is cheaper, but this is available from uh, for home print from my mini factory. So we'll just break that off. And you won't have to do that with the My Mini Factory print because it'll come in two separate pieces. We'll just shave that guy right off. And once that is off, you'll see that it's going to mount just like that. To mount this, we need to get a screw. This side here, you'll tap with an M3 screw and you'll want to thread the screw in like this. This side here is not tapped. This is a 3.15 millimeter hole because the point is you just want the screw there as a pin, probably a longer one and not to actually pinch these shut okay and to latch it you'll just push straight down and there you go to unlatch it you should be able to just pull up here and push in a tad and there you go before you put that tap away you have to tap one two three and three additional mounts on this side here you're going to use a drill to clean this mount and this mount here out the bit you should use is 2.5 to 2.6 millimeters now that all the holes are tapped let's install this we'll slip it through here from the rear of the frame rails and just shove it all the way on in move my battery cable out of the way and it should stop right god jeez <laughs> yeah, that was close so it should stop that hole right there but you'll notice that it touches the gearbox and yes that's on purpose. I'm thrilled that my calculations were correct. I was at the rear mounts. We'll just use the same screws that we took out. And here at the front, you probably use one. You probably want to use something around six millimeters long. All right, this has been installed. So we'll just pop the lid open here and drop in our shorty. There you have it. Snap that in place. And there we go. To remove it. I, well, at least the way I'm doing it, I'm putting my finger here, pulling up there. And there it goes. Should hold her right in place very nicely. I think in order to test this out, we probably should put the body on because I only mocked this up initially and I don't actually know if it's going to fit. So fingers crossed. I wanted to note that this vehicle has the AX10 transmission. And this means that if this car is equipped with the, I know there's another variation of the transmission that can go into the axial or perhaps even an aftermarket version, that could definitely compromise the placement and the clearance of this battery tray. And now that the body is on, we can see what we're working with. It is incredibly tight in here. Noting that despite the battery tray being shoved as far forward as possible, even coming into contact with the transmission, the battery just, you can see it right there. The battery sits directly between the frame rails, just barely. So it's not even possible to scoot this battery back a millimeter 
for clearance purposes. So it does get in there, but just. And that wraps it up. So the vehicle does now have a second in the event that you want to have two battery compartments or you have the ability now to move the battery compartment to the rear if, like myself, you've somehow ruined the front of your car. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time.